We've, we've come, come to apologise. We didn't really mean to harm Captain Thrice. It's just that the money was good. And now then, me and my half-brother formed this junkyard <coughs> uh, rocket engine company a long time ago. As you can see, we built our headquarters from junk <coughs> high-tech rockets. And we specialise in second-hand uh, uh, previously used parts for spaceships. Take the chocolate box. Oh, you mean the paradox? Ah, oh, yes, the paradox. This funny little spaceship has a lot of very interesting equipment. Like the autopilot. <laughs> nice bit of kit, that. They've got a pretty tasty transvision as well, you know. A sort of space telephone. This is Captain Thrace of the Paradox. Twaddle Dim is the name. Rocket engines are my game. Then there's that engine, an ND646, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, that's a real antique. Needs a lot of fine-tuning. Still, luckily, all this stuff wears out, but when it needs replacing, they come to... Us. us! And because we can teleport... Deliveries, no problem! We can deliver spare parts to any part of the universe. We can do an entire ship if we have to. Yeah, it also means that there is almost nothing we can't nick... Uh, <coughs> acquire. And it comes in handy for dealing with, shall we say, unsavoury characters like that Dr. Igon bloke. <coughs> <coughs> Now, I've got my eye on that ship of his, the Dark Station. Ooh, I'd like to get my hands on that roto seat. Ooh, there aren't many of those about. Trouble is that Aegon is a nasty piece of work and his fault is even worse. Ooh, I wouldn't like to waffle her feathers. Now, the next adventure is called A Stitch in Time. It's about a time machine. Hey, I wouldn't mind nicking <coughs> a co in that. <laughs>